What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today I want to be having a look at this Casio portable printer, big 12 digit display. Check this thing out. It's large and in charge and it's in its actual box. Now when I was little, this was the kind of material that I always wanted to play with, but my parents would never let me have. And as time went on, I got more interested in other things and nothing like this ever came across my way. So like, uh, like an older gentleman for trying to find uh, all of his collectibles from his childhood days he could never play with i've managed to collect this and it makes me wonder what were these things actually like when they were in their original boxes were they sold in boxes were they sold on cards now i'm pretty sure this one actually comes from the super early 90s but uh, the card is interesting it seems to be backwards usually it's displayed this way with the peg uh facing you like this but instead it's this way and i wonder if that had something to do with the tear that this got into if you guys know, in the early 80s, late 70s, is this how they packaged electric uh, accounting calculators? So, really nice. It's got its paper on the inside, so I guess you'd have to get really particular sized paper in order to make this work. Oh, it actually came with the paper. Man, oh my, guys, look at this. Look at this, a receipt. Oh, wait, this is Kmart. Whoa, Kmart. This must have been sold in the States. I don't think we actually had Kmart in Canada at all. Of course, I could be completely wrong. 37 bucks. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Bobby. Check this out. Did he get this? No. Calculator for 10 bucks? No way. Anyway, CDRs. 80 minutes. I wonder if that was one of them for 19.99. No, it could have been. Why isn't there a date on this? That would have been awesome if there was a date. Man, remember back in the good old time when they used to actually give you all of this paperwork with anything that you got? That was the best. So, let's get this sucker turned on. Let's get the, um, the cable plugged in. This thing is... It's Casio. How much? Okay, 6 volt, 240 milliamp. Oh yeah, and just like that, powered on for the first time. Let's see if things actually work. Oh, I guess I get to tell it to print, don't I? Hmm, what's going on? Yeah, so it turns out it helps if you hit the print button first. So, 2 times 2 equals... I wonder if I keep hitting equals. No, it won't do it. Times 2 equals... No, it won't let you do it. 999 times There's just something awesome about a physically moving, clunking, turning, relubricating piece of actual hardware. I mean, it just came loaded, spring loaded, ready to go. Mm, and just, oh yeah, oh wait, that didn't work at all. Oh yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. That's what I'm talking about, Bobby. Yes. Though I have grown old in my maturity level. Yeah, my maturity level, not so much. I wonder how long I could do this for. This feels so cool, actually finally being able to play with one of these things, especially straight out of the box, to know no foreign accounters' hands have been all over it. Jeez, let's see how many batteries it would take. Four AA batteries. Four AA batteries. Man, these days, that's like a tachanka. That's a, that's a huge amount to be uh, putting down, but I bet it'll make this, well, I bet it'll make this unit last forever if you do something like that. Interesting, it has a reset button on the front so that if you mess with the numbers too much that, uh, or if you mess with the settings too much, you can get, get back to where you were, but that's definitely another really interesting thing about this kind of calculator is you can get so far into it just kind of mentally you got to know what settings you put onto it these accounting calculators and uh, that is just really interesting i seriously feel like i've just got to play with a toy that i was never able to play with before i think i know why my parents didn't let me have one of these now Anyways, next up, I want to get into the inside of it and see what makes it tick. Looks like we have one, two, three, probably five. Oh, I wonder if I can feed paper in through here. Anyways, probably five. I'm not seeing any more screws in there. Uh, Phillips head screws. I'm not sure if anyone actually cares to see the writing on the back of here. But I'll scroll through it just in case. Some old calculator people love that stuff. 
All right, I only found clips on the bottom, so let's take a look at the board. Of course, we got the main CPU under that goo. There is no way that I'm getting under that goo and uh, reading the information off that. Like, I can get the goo off, but then I'll just see a chip, basically. So, up here, we have the apparatuses in order to move the pieces left and right. Man, Epson. Wait, that says Epson. I thought this was Casio. I bet Epson bought Casio or something like that. I was not expecting to see Epson there. I'm going to see what's on the other side, shall we? So, as you could imagine, on the other side, they have buttons. And that's what the buttons look like. And here is the printer. It's amazing how far you can get with a bunch of gears at the right times. And we got a little motor here like we would on any of your old rc cars anyways i gotta get the solder gun out and i gotta get this thing back together i'm gonna play with it some more anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it for me have a good one folks take care of each other